Evening. Uh, briefly uh, about Bongo Project, who we are or what we are. Um, we're a descendant of um, Novell, Netmail, uh, NIMS, and also the Hula Project. Uh, we uh, forked off of the Hula Project uh, just as Novell transferred ownership of Hula across to uh, Messaging Architects in the beginning of uh, 2007. Uh, we're entirely uh, free open source. We're licensed under GPL v2. Um, our first release was in February 2007, um, where we replaced uh, OpenSSL with GNU TLS uh, for uh, the encryption aspect of things. Uh, we reviewed our logging system and also uh, did some bug fixing uh, to some of the original code. Our second release was in uh, May 2007, uh, where we rewrote the anti-spam and anti-virus uh, agents uh, for hooking into Spam Assassin and Clam AV. Um, we also uh, created a new admin user interface. Um, the third milestone uh, was released in January 2008, um, where we uh, reviewed a lot of the command line interface tools for management of the services. Uh, we also added virtual domain uh, support uh, and also implemented uh, the initial CalDAV support uh, for Bongo. Uh, we also uh, implemented uh, aliasing and uh, mail forwarding um, systems into the uh, setup and also our foundation for uh, translations with IATN. Our uh, next uh, major release is due uh, April of this year uh, where we're looking at implementing a new user interface uh, and effectively replacing the old Hula uh, both admin and web user interfaces. Uh, we're also a member of the uh, Software Freedom Conservancy, uh, where we join projects like uh, Samba, Inkscape, Wine, and uh, many others uh, for legal support uh, in the current day and age of uh, lovely litigation. Um, it's nice to have a bit of backing, and the uh, Conservancy offers us that uh, protection, and also is a means for people for, uh, to make donations that are tax deductible. Um, what is Bongo? Uh, well, basically we're a simple email and calendaring solution. We're not groupware, so we're not an exchange or groupwise or Zimbra replacement. Uh, they offer functions that we don't aim to offer. Our, func our focus is email and calendar um, at the end of the day. Uh, we're written in C, Python, and JavaScript. Uh, the main daemon agents are written in C. Python's used as the glue between those agents and uh, the user interface, which is uh, written in JavaScript. Uh, and there's also uh, the admin interface is written in Python. Um, nice Web 2.0. Ajax e, uh, interface. If we didn't, I don't think many people would look at us in this current day and age. Um, we are highly distributable. Um, the plan is uh, that you could actually uh, have the agents spread across multiple servers uh, to spread your load. And we're also highly lightweight, uh, quite happily runs on a P2 with 128 meg of RAM, no issues at all. We're not anything to do with the Emacs uh, audio plugin uh, of the same name, Bongo. Um, we're not a drum synthesizer either. And uh, for the uh, UK contingent in here, we have nothing to do with uh, Umbongo juice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the, com uh, the components that make up Bongo uh, services are IMAP, POP, SMTP, CalDAV, as an address book. Uh, we also have uh, email aliases, multi-domain support, and antivirus and anti-spam. Um, we use, uh, or we offer SSL and TLS encryption uh, for IMAP uh, and uh, SMTP. Um, antivirus and anti-spam, we don't have our own 
antivirus and anti-spam, we utilize the likes of Spam Assassin and Clam AV. Uh, we are looking at supporting the likes of Mail Scanner as well in the uh, near future. Um, why would you want to use Bongo? Uh, well, as I said before, we're lightweight. We have no Java stack behind us, so there's no Tomcat chewing up resources. Uh, it's nice and uh, low memory footprint. Uh, we're integrated. Uh, we're not glued together from multiple projects um, along the lines of Zimbra, where they use Postfix, Spam Assassin to make up their complete stack. Uh, we've steered away from that uh, aspect as it's uh, more difficult we find to maintain security patches keeping track of uh, what the other projects are doing and trying to keep our release schedule uh, on track. Um, highly portable, we will run on pretty much anything. Um, currently we only run on Linux but that's only because we were only Linux developers. Um, it has been ported across to uh, Solaris running on Spark and uh, x86 on open solaris as well um, highly modular we're not a big lump of application code um, more traditional unix style application where we're made up of multiple demons um, which also helps with being distributable uh, and uh, we're also user friendly uh, anyone from my four-year-old son to my 75 year old aunt can actually get around using it, uh, so that helps. Uh, the old interface, which is soon to be replaced, um, it's known as Dragonfly. Uh, as you can see, um, it's separated into uh, mail that's directly to me, uh, mail from contacts in my address book here, or mail from mailing lists. Um, it's a bit of a a beast to maintain the code on this one and none of our current developers were actually uh, part of the original team that coded it which is why we're doing the a new rewrite of user interface for the next release uh, one of the sample uh, samples that we have at the moment is this it, it is a mock-up uh, but uh, it's a fairly well um, written mock-up and it's fairly easy to to add on uh, hopefully it will be modular uh, in the future as well so the uh, big 1.0 release in the future um, and beyond that uh, what we're looking at doing is actually integrating um, a complete solution for email and calendars uh, so there will be a complete functioning um, service at the moment there are aspects that are in various stages of development, uh, CalDAV being relatively new addition uh, to the suite. At the moment, we're not able to integrate seamlessly with other MTAs like Postfix or Exim. Uh, so you've got a mail gateway running one of those MTAs. At the moment, we don't play too nicely. Uh, that is going to be uh, rectified uh, after the 1.0 release. Uh, our main focus is getting the actual stack ready and fully supportable and working. Um, our target audience initially is uh, approximately 50 users per installation. Um, we see that being deployed in small offices and organizations. Um, ideally, we'd like to see the likes of ISPs uh, replacing their setups with Bongo uh, or education authorities, schools, colleges, uh, such like where they don't require the big bloatedness of uh, a groupware product. Um, and also we're looking at implementing the likes of OpenID uh, and other authentication methods for sharing of calendars. So you don't actually have to have a user account on the Bongo server uh, per se. Um, if you want to get Bongo, well thanks to the uh, OpenSUSE build service, uh, we offer RPM packages for all the uh, SUSE uh, derivatives from 10.0 right the way through to SLES 10. Uh, we offer Fedora 6 through to 8, um, and uh, hopefully it will be included in Fedora 9. Uh, we offer RPMs for uh, Red Hat Enterprise 5 and CentOS 5, Mandriva 2007, um, and Debian Etch. Uh, Bongo is in, bon in Debian Experimental, and uh, we're hoping to add the likes of uh, Ubuntu uh, shortly. Uh, 
Uh, there are Connery packages for those that like uh, using Foresight or uh, RPATH, uh, and also uh, there are uh, downloadable ISOs, uh, Zen images, and also VMware images uh, from RPATH for using in uh, virtualized environments. Um, there are uh, Bongo is also in Gen2 eMerge, and also you can get it from uh, SVN repositories. Uh, any questions? The address book. Uh, yes, at the moment um, we're trying to ascertain the best way of uh, having a, an accessible address book on the web. Uh, one of the problems is if we went with LDAP, um, fat clients whether it be Evolution, Thunderbird, um, K Address Book, whoever, they all implement LDAP slightly differently. So if you export or if you import uh, or connected Evolution to uh, Bongo for the Address Book, it may well work quite well. Thunderbird, on the other hand, may throw uh, a curveball. So that one of the, the issues is finding a, an open standard that is easily communicatable uh, through all the clients. On the email aspect, it's quite easy. Everyone talks IMAP, and IMAPs are, are well-defined and you know, pretty much set in stone how IMAP works, albeit with the three or four RFCs attached to it. Um, but it's a lot easier to do that than the address book. Uh, yep. Um, we do. Uh, nobody internally has actually tried it because nobody's got external LDAP directory to, to play around with. Um, but it has been done in the past that the code is still there from Hula for uh, authenticating against an external directory. So, yes, it should work. Yep. Sorry? Yes. Uh, we are. At the moment, um, there's a couple of options available. Um, one of them um, is Conduit uh, on the GNOME desktop, um, but there's also uh, other items. Uh, whether we uh, are looking at um, implementing a sync option. Um, so at, at the moment, Conduit is uh, in the lead. At the moment, no. Um, that's going to be uh, looked at after the 1.0 release. Uh, so you can use the, the Bongo web interface or the Bongo calendar aspect and connect to your current uh, mail interface. Uh, like I said, our focus at the moment is to actually get all aspects working quite nicely together. Once that happens, then you can have just the calendar services running or just the the web interface running without the back end and you point it to your Postfix XM setup or, or whoever. Um, so that, that is on the drawing board. Any other questions? Um, for per server installation, um, so if we have um, on one single physical box, you have a Bongo install. Um, we are looking at the moment um, at approximately 50, 50 users, so small, small offices, um, and such like. Could quite happily go up to 100, but we'd rather than blow our trumpet too much and find that it falls over, um, we're, we're confident that 50 users is no problem at all whether they're high email users or low email users. 50 users is quite doable without any issue at all. Yep. Sorry? Uh, localization, we've started. Um, German is there. Um, French is uh, on its way. Portuguese is also on its way. Um, but that's, along with the next release, 
we're looking at expanding um, uh, localization aspects. And lastly, getting involved, uh, there's the Bongo project, uh, our homepage. We're on IFC and OFTC.net. Um, there's forums, we've got uh, Planet available. Um, get mailing lists, bugs, uh, and our SVN from GNA. And also, we're a, a fairly sociable meet, uh, bunch, so we meet up quite regularly. Thanks. Thank you.